I'm here in Sardinia ahead of the 100th edition of the Giro d'Italia, about to take a tour of the Bahrain Marida team bus. The team, of course, of defending Giro d'Italia champion Vincenzo, the shark of Messina, Nibali. Let's do this. Whoa, that's yeah, quite a spacious looking bus. And first up, before we actually talk about the bus itself, it's the big question of the time. Is this going to be a hats or caps type of tour? I'm going to go for the traditional Capolino, as the Italians call them. Well, first off, I am struck again by the space here and the interesting configuration of seats. We have two, four, so two, four, six. We have 12 seats in a pretty interesting configuration. You remember, there's nine riders for a Grand Tour, but there's plenty of seats here for 12, so the riders can move around a little bit. Now we have the midsection of the bus. I like to call this the lounge area. Again, a real sense of space. No storage up here at all, but I have a sense that this seating area, where there's enough seats for eight riders, forward slash staff, will, I don't know, deliver us a few surprises. So let's have a little look what we've got in store. There we go. Ah, first up, hundreds, if not thousands, of little espresso cups. We'll talk about coffee soon. We've got energy shots. Namid Sport are the sponsor of Barre Marida. Loads of little shots. Again, essentially, the finale flask. You take that in the last I don't know, 20 kilometers of a stage. Okay, just moving across to the other side now. Let's have a little look. Wow, tuna and pasta, the classic post-race dish for most teams. So you can stock up, replenish those glycogen stores with some pasta. I mean, this is absolutely full to the gunnels. And of course, lots and lots and lots of tuna. Just punch myself in the face with a tin of tuna then. We'll leave that in. We've got loads of different sorts of pasta, which you'd expect from essentially an Italian team. Look at that there. Organic spaghetti. No. We've also got some wholemeal spaghetti as well. Absolutely packed. And there's also some rice cakes in there too. Final one. It looks like, what do we have in here? Basically, it's full of raisins. We have basically one compartment solely for tiny little bits of dried fruits. One TV, two TVs, three TVs. It's a lounge area done and dusted. Let's move further back to the kitchen. Okay, very well appointed, very clean. We've got all the various energy products uh, left out here as well. Of course, Namid Sport are the sponsors. Nice little bead on there. S is for salts, apparently. A couple of energy bars, soya milk as well. Another option for riders who don't like to uh, have dairy products. Let's have a look just underneath. Well, here's a, an agenda for the day's events today. Some more dried fruit and nuts. All your condiments you'll need, of course, to make the perfect espresso. Now, just going underneath, have a little look what we've got here. Wow, we've got a real good selection of different sorts of milks. We've got rice milk, we've got almond milk, and again, unsurprisingly, for essentially a team with an Italian heart, we have gallons and gallons of olive oil. So moving across to the other side of the kitchen, let's see what we have. Again, typically, the kind of digital nerve center of any team bus is generally situated here. So you've got satellites, we've got a Blu-ray 3D player here as well, and all the internet connections. Freezer. Okay, lots of frozen water in there, no real surprises at all. What else do we have? Lots of water basically, fully stocked. The rods will come here after their training ride and after each stage, so it's important that this fridge is fully stocked. Oh, son, I love this. Cheeky can of Coke, fun sized can of Coke there. Lots of water and lots of fresh fruit as well. Oranges and apples stocked in the bottom there. And again, they haven't let me down, have they? Buffalo mozzarella. <laughs> you thought I was going to leave this out, didn't you? But I haven't. I've saved it till last in the kitchen. It's the coffee machine, making this essentially the hub of the entire bus. And it isn't just any coffee machine, it's a rocket espresso. 
I'm here with David, the driver of this rather wonderful bus, who's very kindly going to make me an espresso. So I'm just going to kick back and watch, clearly a master at work. Grazie. Prego. Mmm, perfetto. Bathroom area, they've got two showers. Let's do that again. <laughs> Now I've unlocked the showers, we can have a look inside. Individual showers. They've even got little gel dispensers, pump dispensers on the wall. Very well appointed, nice and simple. Just what the riders need post-race. Moving inside to uh, the toilette. It's actually worth having a look. This is particularly nice. So just check this out. It's actually sort of hotel boutique quality with a lovely porcelain basin and a really quite fetching mirror. And finalmente, Finally, the back of the bus. Let's have a look here. So lots of stuff for the soigneur in, in here, of course. Lots of towels, take to the podium. So let's have a look in here. Wow, this is interesting. We've got cycling shoe cleaner. I've never seen this before. Honest, this is an absolute first. Helmet cleaner, because your helmet can never be clean enough. Let's have a quick look underneath here. We've got a scanner. We've even got a hairdryer. This will be for Pellizzotti to keep his perm nice and perfect, of course. As you can see, the back shelf of the bus full of Rudy Project helmets. Let's have a look at this. This is uh, the Chrono helmet, so the time trial helmet for Giovanni Visconti, the former Italian road champion. And there we go, really striking colour scheme. I must admit, the team really do stand out in the peloton with these uh, gold coloured helmets. And that, of course, we'll see in action in the TT. Now, I must admit, I did particularly enjoy this team bus tour, especially the espresso midway through. And if you don't want to miss another GCM video, click on the globe to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Now, for another pretty cool bus tour, how about clicking just down here where I toured the Team Sky Death Star a couple of years ago. And for a Barre Marida team bike, a Merida, unsurprisingly, click just down here. And don't forget to like and share this video too.